Hey guys, hope all is well with you. Today's a bit of a rainy day here in Dallas and I understand how sometimes weather can have an effect on a person's emotions in addition to have a compounding effect should you already be feeling heavy or stressed or carry a load. So we're gonna do a little movement today that might help lift your spirit, lift your heart, lift your soul, and lead you to feel a little bit lighter. So let's step on our mat. I want you to start out in mountain pose, grounding your feet on all four corners, pulling your tummy into your spine. Let's get everything aligned here. Shoulders down, roll back, palms out, extending that energy, breathing in. And out. And in. And out. Continue breathing. With every breath, lengthen and open your chest. And with every release, try to keep yourself there. Lengthening and lifting. One more. Up, breathe in. Lengthen and reach. And exhale. One more in. Drop your right arm. And lift that left arm up high. Lengthen the side. And exhale. Inhale, come center. Drop the left arm. side one more time each side make sure you're not crunching into the side but instead you're lifting and lengthening breathe in and exhale out lift open that chest try not to roll forward we don't want you here we want you here bring it in forward fold flat back Anywhere that it's comfortable, I'm going to hang, gorilla, softening my knees, just allowing my hamstrings to open, gravity to do its job, moving my neck. I always like to end on a positive shaking, yes. Wherever you are, release your palms to the mat, slowly roll yourself up, tummy to spine, breathe in big, and exhale. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back. Bring a couple. We're opening up. Come back to center mountain. Breathe it in. Forward fold flat back. Give me a nice little half lift. Taking it forward, press your left hand in front of your face, then the left knee, lifting the right arm to the sky. Nice little twist. Pulling that shoulder away from your ear. Back to the center. Go ahead and alternate your knees, bending them right and left, getting yourself centered. Come back, right hand in front of the face, right knee bent, left arm to the sky. Back to the center, alternating knees. And then roll yourself up. Big breath in, hands to your heart. Breathe in, forward fold, flat back, step or hop to a plank. Now I want you to shoot energy through your heels. If a plank is too much, please come to your knees. Holding through here, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the quads. Shoulders are down and back away from your ears lengthening through that spine, extending the energy through the crown of your head and through your heels. Now for this first one, everyone come to your knees, bend your elbows, come down to your chest and your chin. Go ahead and come up 
just slightly, a small cobra. And taking it back down, rest. Come up, lengthen a little bit more. Midway, can you go a little higher? I like to say it's more like you're pulling yourself forward and then going up. You're not just pressing yourself up. Come back down. And one more, a little higher. And if you need to stay with that, what I call baby cobra, stay down there. I might be a little warmer than you are. You might be way warmer than me. You never know. Come back down, press back into a down dog. Bend your right knee. Bend your left left knee. Right, left. Bend both knees. Come up on your toes, look back, or step back and look forward, either step or hop to the front of your mat. Half lift, forward fold, breathe it up, wide, flat back, hands to heart. Let's do that again, breathe in, forward fold, flat back, half lift, step or hop to plank. This time, if you can stay in plank, Come a little forward, shift it down to your chaturanga. See if you can hold it with that 90 degree on your elbows, pressing through. And this of course can be done on your knees if you did not do that. Roll over the toes into your down dog. Lift that right leg up, keeping those hips nice and level with the floor. Flex the back foot, pressing your chest towards your thigh. Your ears should be between your arms. You can stay in a regular down dog if this is too much. Bend the knee and pull it all the way through. Low lunge, drop the knee. Bring your arms up, modified crescent. Taking it back, shifting into a half split or We'll just call it that. Half monkey is the other one. I just always think it's better. Come back forward, one more. And back. And flip down, tuck the back. Step back to plank, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Left leg up, flex the foot, square off those hips. Tummy in tight to the spine, always. Bend the knee, pulling it all the way through. Back knee down and tuck the toes, come on up. Lengthen. back my hair I should have come back down taking it back to half split forward and back and forward tuck the toe lift the knee step back into your plank take it through your vinyasa chaturanga up dog down dog. Right leg up, open that hip. Keep the shoulders as level as you can. You're twisting through the spine. Feel free to flex the foot, point it. You can move the hip around, whatever you need. Go ahead and straighten it out. Squaring those hips off, bend the knee, pulling it all the way through, taking it up high. Crescent. Taking it down to your high lunge, lifting the right arm into a twist. And back down, stepping back, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, left 
left leg up, open that hip. Do the same as you did on the other side, whatever serves you. Square off the hips, one leg and down dog. Bend the knee, bring them all the way through, stay up high, crescent pose. This pose, you're keeping your hips here, pulling this back one forward, pulling the front one back. That way they're level and parallel. Tucking the pelvis in, lengthening that lower spine. All of this mind, but making sure that you are not impacting the lumbar. Take it all the way down. Nice little twist, lift that hand. it down, step back into your plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Let's just hang here for a moment. Press your chest towards your thighs. Pull that tummy up into your spine. Keep that head between your arms. Your ears between your arms. Bend the knee and pull it all the way through. Spiral that heel down at an angle. We're coming up into warrior one. Bring your arms, clasp your hands behind your back. Lift and open up that chest, lengthening, folding forward into your humble warrior. Warrior two. Go ahead and give it, take it back. Deep breath into your reverse warrior. See if you can go a little lower. Open up that chest. Coming slowly down. do here is we're going to just take our arms and you can follow me. Let me go first. We're just going to bring it around and we're going to bring ourselves up into a triangle. Opening up this top hip. Now engaging the core. Lift yourself up into a reverse triangle. a nice low lunge, step it back, go through your vinyasa, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, pressing through, lift that left leg up, bend the knee, come all the way through, warrior one. Try and pull that front hip back and bring that back hip forward through the blade of your back foot. I'm going to go ahead and bring our arms down, clasp them. I like to clasp the opposite finger over so it's kind of awkward, and then I go forward. Humble warrior. Taking the arms and coming back through. Open it up to warrior two. Keeping this hip open, the front hip, so that knee should be tracking over your heel. Don't let it fall inward. Pull those hips forward, tilting the pelvis just a tiny bit, lengthening out that lower spine. And opening your chest and lifting your heart. 
Go ahead and take it back into your reverse. Nice lengthen in that front. We're not crunching down in the back. We're lifting and reaching. Take it all the way to your right angle. Little windmill of the arm will lead you right up into your triangle. Notice I bring my feet down just a little bit. That serves me. Now, if you're coming forward like this, you need to bring yourself up. Your chest, your shoulders should be in line with one another. Your chest should be open. Pulling this upper hip out and back towards the ceiling. You're not impairing it. Opens it up. Okay, now engage that core, lifting, and coming into your reverse triangle. All the way, spiral forward, take it back, those for your vinyasa. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Reverse your hands, fingers facing towards you in your tabletop. Just kind of come back a little bit. Coming back. Your hands will be pretty warm, just giving them a different angle from what we were doing. I'm going to go palms down, fingers facing towards me. Reversing a lot of those uh, planks we did. Countering it. Taking myself back. And back. You can shake them out, you can roll them out. This does not feel good. Now, here we are in our tabletop, tummy up. Go ahead, breathe in. Exhale, cat. Lifting your back to the ceiling, tummy in tight to the spine. Breathe in, come forward. Cow, tail into the sky, chest pressed forward, shoulders down and back. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Come to center. Wag the tail, wag the dog. So many names. Just getting our spine centered. Just move it as you need. Back to center. Shake your head now. Shake your head, yes. Walk your arms out to puppy pose. Now many people will go to their forehead. Some can come to their chin and it's okay. And some need to use a block. Grab your block if you need it. Go ahead and come back up. Take it back 
to your heels, swing them around, oh so gently. Bring your arms out in front of you, the legs out in front of you, shoulders down your back. Roll it down slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Counting by 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest. Nice little ball. Just rock back and forth. Massage that spine. Bring your legs to tabletop. Arms out wide. And slowly release your knees to the right side. Looking over the left. I just got a nice little pop. For me, that's like golden. The bonus. Center. Engaging the core when you do so. Bring your knees in. Go back and forth on that spine. Come back to your little tabletop and drop them to the left. Not drop. Slowly release them to the left. Never clop or drop. Look to your right shoulder. Center. Hug your knees in one more time. Get a hug and release them all the way down. Get a nice long body stretch. From here, you can relax in your savasana for as long as you like. Or you can go on ahead with myself and make yourself move on to your day. Roll onto one side. Slowly come up to a seated position. Feel free to pause the video if you are looking for a longer Shavasana than a couple of seconds. Hands on your knees. Deep breath in, exhale, one more deep breath in, exhale, bring your arms up, nice and wide, taking all that positive energy in, and exhaling as you pull it down into your heart. I acknowledge you and your beauty your life. Thank you for joining an absolutely beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.